Has Orohara learned the secret of defeating the Quincy? Find out in my review of Bleach chapter 552. This chapter right here is proof why Orohara is one of the most popular characters in the series and why he's such a smart and useful character for the series and yet he still hasn't lived up to his entire potential yet and at the same time I love his character and this week was no exception as we got to see him figure out how they're going to fight against the Quincy and how they're going to stop his abilities and first and foremost we get to see him and Kuratsuchi interacting with each other which is absolutely hilarious because I love how he sort of fucks with Kuratsuchi Suchi's mind a little bit, making him think like he has some sort of device in his head. And it literally seems as if Korosuchi is, like, about to rip it out of his head until all of a sudden Orohara appears throughout this, like, weird window door. He also has learned something very important about the Hollows. And uh, I love that they're finally bringing the Hollows back into the forefront because that's kind of how the series opened up. Uh, same thing with the Quincy's as well, and we get a little bit more explanation. We've always known that the Quincy's have been really, really ruthless towards Hollows. And the main reason for this is because Hollows are, like, poison to the Quincy's. If a hollow attacks a Quincy, they're pretty much screwed. They're not even going to go through, like, a hollification or anything. They're simply going to die. Body and soul. That is why they have to kill the hollows. So Orohara came up with this genius idea where he's going to give all of the Shinigami these weird little pills that will allow them to essentially use hollow abilities for, like, a split second. And if they're able to attack the Quincy's with these, it'll essentially be, like, a poison to them, and it'll hurt them. So this is, like, the perfect counter against them. So Kangdu decides he's going to try and finish off Hitsugaya, and he even brings Rongiku along, and he just tosses her on the wayside. It's really messed up. And uh, I haven't really talked about this too much, but I do love his weapon, the metal blades on his hand. It kind of reminds me of Vega from Street Fighter. Orohara is able to give this pill to all of the Shinigami almost instantly, and they're all able to basically absorb it into their bodies. And this is going to be really good because now they're going to be able to fight back, and they might even be able to get their Bankai back. And you can see in the final panel of the chapter that Kangdu is actually being attacked from behind from a mysterious assailant. Whether that be Hitsugaya, Rangiku, or someone else entirely remains to be seen. All I know is it's finally great that we have a way to counter against the Quincy. And it's really awesome that it's because of the Hollow. The Hollow have really come a long way. They've really evolved as the series has come on. They started out as monsters and then they turned into the Arankar and ended up having a lot of character. They had their entire arc devoted to them. And then they sort of got tossed away side at the beginning of this Quincy arc, all of a sudden they're being brought back into the forefront. Now, the biggest thing in this chapter is how did Orohara even come up with this plan? How did he figure that it was going to be the Hollows that would do this? And I think a lot of this is going to go back to the point where Orohara was actually saved by that mystery person with the sword, which a lot of people still think is Grim Zhao, and I think that would be awesome because, come on, he was such a badass character. We need to see him come back. Until that point, it's all speculation. The good news is, this week's chapter of Bleach was very good. It was a little heavy on the explanation, but at least it made sense, and I love to see that they're going to have this really creative counter against the Quincy. And uh, most of the artwork and the brutality was really good this week. Like, Kangdu is just a real cold motherfucker. And I'm not just saying that because he's able to activate Hitsugaya's ice powers. He actually uses his Bankai outright immediately, and it, it looks pretty awesome, as it always does. So for the most part, this was a pretty damn good chapter of Bleach, with a lot of explanations, some funny bits, a little bit of action, some brutality from the Quincy, some pretty good character artwork, and some promise of some really cool new powers to come at the very end. So I really don't have any complaints with this one, aside from the fact that Ichigo is not yet back on the scene, and frankly I just want to see him do something, because he just got a really cool new power up, and I want to see it in action, but I know they're just trying to build that up a little bit. So because of that, I'm going to give this week's chapter a 9 out of 10. It's a pretty damn good chapter that I think Bleach fans are going to enjoy. So if you are following the series, make sure and check this one out. But if you guys did have a chance to check out this week's chapter of Bleach, I'd love to know what you thought about it. You can tell me about your favorite moments and what you're hoping to see from these brand new hollow powers. You can let me know with your comments below. Remember guys, before you leave, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. Absolutely one of the best ways to support our videos. So I will see you next time, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.